this episode is Google AdSense because I do not have a sponsor. So uh, go ahead and not skip those commercials for me. So welcome, I'm headed to test firmware version 161. Today is Wednesday, September 15th. I would have been there about uh, 30 minutes sooner, but somebody forgot to put the laptop in my car before we left. I'm not going to say which one of us it was, uh, it was probably that guy back there, but uh, I got my laptop now and I am headed to the nearest charging station for me. It's about a, a 35 minute drive to a place called Frederick, Oklahoma. I've been there many times. so. Uh, let me get on down the road and I will meet y'all in Frederick. I've heard good things on message boards and around the internet that this is actually going to work. So we'll go try this out and I will see y'all in Frederick. Seems to be some kind of fire going on over there. I don't know what it is, but it looks very fiery to me. Lots of dust up in the air. Let's roll down the window and check it out. Oh, there's a farmer doing some farmer things. Yeah, there's the culprit. Just a, just a farmer doing some farmer things. All right, I will see y'all in Frederick. Y'all, just a very annoying observation. The car thinks the speed limit is 45 on this road and the speed limit is flipping 65. I'm out in the middle of nowhere on a two lane county road and I'm stuck going 45. Well, I can push the I can push the go pedal manually, but it really upsets the car. <laughs> It'll still do auto steer, but uh, yeah, I have to have my my foot on the pedal though. So that would be nice if we could get this uh, speed limit bumped back up to uh, 65 here, Mr. Elon, since I know you watch my, my channel. Alright, so we've made it to my favorite spot here in Frederick, the Francis Energy. And uh, let's take a look at my trip here, just for the record. I am 34 miles from my house exactly. 263 watt hours per mile on that last trip. Let me get all set up and we'll go POV. Okay guys, I got a little company here at the the electric station out in the middle of nowhere, so kind of surprised. Now I'm a little shy and bashful all of a sudden. But let's get this, uh, oh, I can't walk with the cord. See, I'm all out of whack now. I don't know how to perform with a audience. All right, so let's get this, uh, connected first. <clears throat> Here we go. We're going to get that connected. The machine is recording in there, so... Now remember, this is version 161. We're going to go ahead and show the RFID card. Payment is authorized. Let's go back here and I guess we don't have to watch the computer because through the power of editing y'all can there. So let's watch this little light here. I heard some clicks in the car. We got a blue light. We got a green light. Everything's clicking just the way it's supposed to. Ladies and gentlemen, we are charging. I'm getting 38 kilowatts. Heck yeah. We are charging here, y'all. So really, I'm going to go ahead and stop this because there's no reason to me get charged here because I am a cheap donkey. So we are going to go back here and we are going to log this and clear that. 
and just for grins we're gonna try it one more time that seemed to work great but we are gonna try it just for YouTube's sake since I drove all the way down here so let's go ahead and unhook this we will finish this here okay everything's showing available if you can see that so we are going to go over here and hook this adapter in plugged in perfectly I'm going to go ahead and open the COM port it is receiving information on the computer we're going to show our ID card Payment is authorized. Let's watch the screen in here. Ready to charge. Oh, it's not gonna stay on. Well, anyway, ready to charge. And now things are clicking and it is charging. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and call this a victory. Are you happy, duck? Are you happy that it's working? You look happy. Yes, you look happy. So we are charging here, guys. And this is a successful test. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. And I will close out with y'all in the car on the way home. Since uh, I got some company over there. It's a really nice Kia Nero over there charging. I've never seen one in person before. Uh, has that silly California sticker where they can drive in the in the special lane I mean it's not silly to be able to drive in the lane but I think the, st the sticker looks silly but I don't even need to see the license plate to recognize that sticker from all the YouTube it was actually kind of cool somebody actually pulling up at the small town station out in the middle of nowhere um, I'd never seen a Kia Nero in person before, and he was loaded down. He had a bumper hauler, I don't know what else you would call it, but it had a bunch of stuff hanging off the back, had a bunch of stuff inside, had a bag on the roof. I should have asked him, uh, he seemed like a nice enough guy, I should have asked him what his uh, uh, watt hours per mile, or kilowatts per mile, or however Kia measures it. I should have asked him how much uh, mileage he was getting. Uh, I told him the name of my channel. Maybe he'll comment down below. I just feel weird talking to my camera whenever I'm around other people. But it actually was nice seeing somebody driving an EV and uh, using that charging station there. That just goes to show you we need more charging stations around. Uh, random Kia Nero from what looked like California just passing through a uh, small podar. Uh, town in southwest Oklahoma okay so a final recap for the evening version 161 works again so everybody go download version 161 immediately especially if you expect to be able to use your CTEC uh, CCS adapter so this may not be permanent you know I am on in my car I am on software 2021.24.11 so I don't know if this will work permanently you know when the next update comes out you know I may lose access to the CCS adapter again I don't know if Tesla's going to try to brick it every time I don't know if it was accidental or on purpose but it is for the short term, it is actually working again right now, and that's all that matters for the moment. Version 161, go to the CTEC website and download it. Man, that is quite the fire in the distance. Let's see if I can zoom in on that at all. It's really hard to hold my phone still, but uh, wow, that fire is pretty big. I wonder if it was intentional or if something bad is happening over there. I would say something bad is happening. It looks pretty bad to me. Let's see. If 
I get a better view of anything, I will be sure to to share it. But yeah, man, that is a rocking and a rolling over there. Can't really see any flames or anything. It's just out in the field. I don't see any fire out there. It looks like it's just out in the field. Thanks for watching this episode. I really appreciate it. Do all the YouTube things for me and hit that like and subscribe and I'll uh, be down in the comments if anybody has any questions or concerns. Uh, just uh, say it down there in the comments and I'll be sure to see it.